Hello, Melissa from Best Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. I called your office today and told me I could send you this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. Now, I don't want to waste your time, Melissa. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. At the end of the video, you want to hear some more information. Let's set up a 10 minute phone call. If not, no problem. Take the free tips and strategies I'm actually going to give you today on this video and you can go ahead and apply them to your site. The first thing I'd love to talk about would be content. I'm on your home page, as you can probably see. And I typically recommend having about 1,500 words of content. Just scrolling through your page, you guys probably have maybe two to 300 here. Um, so definitely having more content would be one tip I would go ahead and give you guys. Partially because Google's going to rank you based on the amount of content you have, as long as with your keywords. But the other bigger reason is that the more content you have on your page, the more keywords you can put into that content. As an example, I've put in Roofing Miami FL here in a Google search. This represent, represents kind of a um, keyword or key phrase that a new customer would put into a search looking for services in the area. And with any Google search, first thing you're going to find is these ads, companies essentially just paying to be seen first by new customers, you know, and hoping to getting some extra business. After that, we're going to find this map section. Top three companies are going to show up here based on citations. And that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number listed together into a directory site. After that, we're going to run into our organic section. There'll be 10 results that show up per page for this. And these don't show up random. They really do show up based on Google's algorithm. And we've talked about two parts of that algorithm now, which are content and keywords, as well as citations to an extent as well. So we could actually rank this key phrase here, roofing my MEFL, based on our results, right? Because these all show up because of that. So number one is going to go to TNS Roofing. Number two is going to go to Home Advisory, which is the directory. Three, Better Business Bureau, a directory. And four is Yelp, which is also a directory. So I want you just to remember that there's 10 results per page. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Next up, I've taken your website, bestroofing.net, put it into a program I like to use called Arifs. This allows me to kind of analyze your site and see how it's doing. You know, if you think of the internet as a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes, they're going to get the most attention, right? And they're going to get the most views. And I'm talking about websites. We're talking about views and visitors to our site. I see you guys do have your name up here in the header, and you've also got a, a keyword up here, which is really good. These will actually allow Google to find you a little easier in searches. So right now we're showing 424 referring domains. This just means that you have websites that you have links on. And those these domains are websites. And of those 424 sites that you have links on, they're sending you guys back over 5,000 links to your page, bestroofing.net. Right now you guys can be found in Google searches of up to 3,300 keywords. These are what really do drive the traffic to your site. So the 3,300 keywords you guys are showing are actually driving you about the exact same amount of, of uh, visitors to your site per month. You're getting about 3,300 visitors per month. What I'd like to do next is I want to just kind of click the keywords, kind of see where your traffic's coming from. Um, first thing we see is a type of roof. Not the best keyword, even though it does have huge volume. But the reason why it has so much volume is because it's a national term, right? You're going to get results from all over the U.S., not necessarily in Florida where, where you guys are located. Um, you know, and you might have other branches, but if you don't, you can't service all those people, then it's not a lot of point in having that keyword phrase on there. So what you really want is kind of location specific terms and um, also potentially your name, which let's see what else we do have on here. So mostly I'm seeing a lot of roofing terms or maybe products you guys have. But I'm not really seeing many location specific things and that's what really is going to drive the traffic to your site. So just as a comparison, I'm going to jump over to TNS Roofing. They're one of the top results in Miami here. So again, they've got the same thing where there is right. They've got Miami's Roofing Company, commercial and residential in their name, TNS Roofing Company. 394 referring domains send them back 1300 links, 990 keywords. They're averaging about 641 visitors to their site per month. But if we look at their keywords, we're going to find they're a little more specific, right? So this is what I'm talking about when I say kind of like a um, one that's going to bring in new customers. What we call it buyer specific, right? Somebody who searches roofing Miami, Florida, if they're looking for a roofer. They probably need work done pretty much right now. Uh, it's not someone that's just going to look at your page and not call. That people are going to call if they're if they're putting this in. So if we look at this phrase, 250 people do search it every month, and TNS is actually number one for that. So top 10 make the first page. 
And to be honest, 80 to 85% of people won't go to page two. So you really want to be on that first page if you want to get traffic from it. Obviously, number one is going to get you the biggest percent. Next up, Roofing Miami, another great one for bringing in new customers. 200 people search it, number one. Now we have a bunch of variations of TNS's name, TNS Roofing, with the uh, symbol, TNS with the word, TS nothing, <laughs> TS Miami, and here it is, TNS Roofing. So people that search this, they know who you are. It's going to be your referrals, repeats. Maybe they saw you at the neighbors, you know, with your truck and didn't get all your contact info, had to, had to kind of look you up. Or they just wanted to look at your reviews. So 100 people do search them just like this, T and S with the symbol roofing. They're number one for that. You can kind of see the theme, though. They're number one for almost all of these. And that's really why. And that you really want a combination of, of keywords that are going to bring in new customers as well as, you know, the ones that are essentially yours. Um, we have a couple more roofing company, Miami FL, Roofer, Roofer, Miami FL. These are all great terms, three and two for those respectively. And they bring in about 100 each. So you can kind of see where a lot of their traffic is actually coming from. And for you guys, I, I would recommend, you know, having a little bit more focused keywords that would actually bring you in more customers. So you get more calls that are probably relevant to what you guys do. Um, that's going to get you more estimates, which, of course, is going to get you more jobs, depending on what your conversion rates are. All right, so if you want to hear more information, you know, let's set up a 10-minute phone call. If not, like I told you, I've given you guys a ton of free tips, actually, more than the three I thought I was going to give you. Um, so definitely go ahead and, you know, use those. Go ahead. And the only thing I will do is I'll just check in with you. I'm just going to give you a call. I just want to know what you thought of the video, get a little feedback. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.